In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about blogging, how to write a blog post, how to add a featured image, and how to insert a photo gallery. So if we come over here to the website and click on blog, we can see there is one sample blog post on right now. This sample blog post is comprised of the featured image, which is this big image at the top, and three sample images, sorry, three images in a gallery, which are down here at the bottom. So let's say we wanted to add a new blog post. We can come into the admin panel and come to posts, choose add new, and let's say, you know, call it getting ready for the weekend. And um, you always want to have a featured image with the blog post. You don't have to, but it's it's really useful moving forward. It gives us more options for how to display the content. Now when you write a blog post, you're going to assign it to a category, so you would click the blog. And you could have tags if you wanted to, for example, if you always wrote um, prep. Maybe you want to have blog posts that sometimes talk about prep for a show or, you know, big event, ad. These are just little keywords. So anyways, to add the featured image, you click the Set Featured Image box, and either you find it within your uploaded images, or you click Upload Files. And the featured image is always long and rectangle, so I want to go with an image that is a rectangle. So let's go with this one. I'll just drag it and drop it in here. Now we can click the Set Featured Image button as soon as the upload finishes. And it pops in down here. And, you know, you might have a whole bunch of stuff that you might have written here. Lots of content. Let's paste that across, something like that. Publish. And we can view the post. Here we can see we have the featured image, we have our tags down here, and we've got, you know, our written blog post. But let's say you wanted to also have a gallery of images in the blog post. We can come over here and we can do add media. And you can do what I just did, which is drag and drop or click select files. Or if you already have the files uploaded into the media library, then they would show up here and you can just click. Actually, I'm going to hold down shift and click a bunch of photos. Let's say we're going to do all of those, and down here it tells us 12 selected. You can leave all this how it is. I'm going to click Insert into Post. Oops, we just inserted all the images. Let me undo that, Command-Z. We're going to do Add Media, and let's do this again. And I'm going to want to come over here on the left and choose Create Gallery. And now we can see my images are selected down here. 12 images, and I'm going to do Create New Gallery. Columns, I have it set up to work well for three columns. You could change this, but I'd recommend just leaving it. You know, we could drag and drop. We can have a caption here. Or, you know, they can all have captions, reorder them. And then once you're happy with it, you can click Insert Gallery. And now you see you have this big thing telling us that the gallery is in there and you could come back in here and edit the gallery if you wanted to. Once you have it in there, click update. And if we view the post now, you can see we have a nice assortment of images. Those that had captions, the captions displaying below it. If I click the image, it opens in a light box and we can scroll through and it tells you the image name and you know which number it is in the slideshow and if we get to one with a caption we can see it shows up right here caption here and that is it let's see how this caption looks so it looks like the caption replaces the title, so you can write whatever you want in there. And that is how you add a post. If you wanted to edit a post, we can come to blog, 
and let's say you wanted to edit this blog this is called sample blog post one let's click on it it'll open the blog and now we're in the post we can do edit post come in here there's not really much to edit since there's just a gallery but the other way you can edit is you can come into all posts and we can say edit blog post one here's the blog post um, we could add some words in here and we could make the contact a link to the contact page add link update view post There we go, here's the text that we just added. Now, let's say you wanted to put a new gallery up. I wouldn't recommend just going into this blog post and changing it. You want to create a new post. So if next week you want to do a new gallery, you would just do uh, add new. And we can call last weekend was fun. Sign to the blog category. publish it. So now if we come back to the front and we look at blog, we can see we have three posts. Last week was fun, getting ready for the weekend, and then sample blog posts. So it's always going to put the most recent at the top. If you did decide that you wanted to get rid of a post for whatever reason, I recommend changing it to draft. So you can do quick edit and choose the status as draft update and now that one will not show up which one was this the getting ready for the weekend is now a draft so it's not going to show up on our blog roll and one other thing I wanted to show you let's say you can schedule a post so a couple different things you might do you might work with the status as draft and update. For example, if you're working on a blog post, you're not done with it, you have to leave the computer, you want to come back later and work on it, then you can just, um, in, instead of clicking the publish button, I can click save draft and it's going to save my changes. Now let's say I wrote this really fancy post that I'm excited about and I wanted to go out the night before the big event and not any sooner. Over here under edit I can choose a publish date, so I could say August, let's say I wanted to go August 19th at, well it's military time, so 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1700, so that'll be 5 p.m. and say save draft. Now we can see this option change from publish to scheduled. So if we just save it as a draft, it's not actually scheduled. We'd have to click schedule and since this date is in the future, this button says schedule instead of publish. And now it will become live on August 19th at 1700 hours. So let me refresh here and this one should go away and we just have one post.